from Television City in Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's the new Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Sweet Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Gee, you are nice. Welcome to our brand new series, the new Tic-Tac-Doe. i got to be honest with you, I think this is probably the best television game I have ever come across. I must admit I'm a little prejudiced, but I hope you agree with me. Thank you for being with us. Let's meet our first two players. Here they are, Jay Wood. Quick, here's a gal who is a housewife and a student whose interests are tennis, crossword puzzles, and the theater. Meet Ruth Freed. And her opponent was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's a disability claims examiner who has worked as a golf instructor. Say hello to Dan Thomas. Yeah, shake hands and come out fighting. Ruth, are you married? Yes, I've been married for 26 short years. My husband's a computer analyst, and we have three children who are 21, 18, and 16. Hey, welcome to the show. Good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Dan. Dan Thomas. Danny Thomas, I won't ask the obvious. Well, thanks, because I think I've heard them all before, uh, but there's no relationship. Any hobbies, Dan? Uh, yes, I like skiing, golf, and uh, I like to sleep. Would you do us a favor? Try staying awake for the next few minutes. Okay, I don't think I could go to school. Hey, good luck to you both. Welcome to the new Tic Tac Tale. Here's the way we play the game. You get an X or an O for correctly answering a question in the category of the box you select. Three X's or three O's, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, wins the game. An X or an O in an outside box adds $100 to the pot, and because the center box is so vital to the playing of the game, those questions are a little harder, I will admit, but we put $200 in the pot for those. Whoever wins the game takes all the money in the pot and goes on to play the tic-tac-toe bonus game. Now, you've glanced at the categories. Let's take a look at the subjects we'll be dealing with. Our questions will be based on these subjects, foods, art, famous pairs, the body, who am I, faces, the Arabs, dropouts, and baseball. We always begin a new game by just moving the categories around on the board. So let's do that first off. The categories will all change places on the board, and then we'll start asking for your X's and your O selection. Okay, there they are. And Ruth, we always begin with X. Your turn to place your first X, and away we go. Where's it going to go? I like to try to put my first X in the upper left-hand box. Who am I? Who am I? All righty. Category, who am I? Listen carefully for your first X. If I do say so myself, people consider me quite talented. My paintings are world famous. I'm also known as a sculptor, an architect, an engineer, and a scientist. In fact, if I had had an engine, I could have probably made my airplane fly. By the way, I was born over 525 years ago in Italy. Who am I? Leonardo da Vinci. You're right. Put an X there. Very good, Ruth. Hundred dollars into the pot. Dan, your turn to place your first O. Hopefully, where would you like it to go? I would like to go in baseball, something I think I know a little bit about. Okay, there's no slot about baseball. Let's find out. Here's your question. Even though it seems like a job for a sanitation worker, it's really the name given to the batter who hits fourth. I believe that's cleanup. You're right. Put an O there. $200 in the pot. Let's move the categories around now. Move the categories around on the board once again. At the end of each round, we have three darker categories on the board, players. Those are jump-in questions. One's on baseball, one's on famous bears, and one is on the body. Select one of those, and we'll have a showdown between you and your opponent to see who gets a chance to answer that first. Back to you, Ruth. Where would you like to place your next X? I'd like to try for that center box and art. Okay, that's a little harder. I'll give you a little extra time to think about your answer. It's worth $200 to the pot, Ruth. Listen carefully. The finest works of one of the world's greatest artists can be found on the walls and ceilings of a chapel in Vatican City. First, I want you to name the artist. Secondly, name the chapel. I'll give you a few extra seconds. important center box. Name the artist I have in mind. Michelangelo. You're halfway there. That's correct. Now name the chapel. The Sistine Chapel. You're right. Put an X there and put $200 in the box. $400 in the box. Dan, your turn to place your next O. Where's I, it going to go? I would like drop out to try and block her. Thank you. All right. If you answer this question correctly, you'll have a successful block. 
This composer, who often collaborated with his brother Ira, dropped out of school to compose such hits as Rhapsody in Blue and Porgy and Bess. To block her, name him. Samuel Gershwin? No, no, I'm sorry, I can't accept that, correct? George Gershwin. George Gershwin, not Samuel. All right, let's move the categories around once again. We have $400 in the pot. That's where they'll be when we come back right after these commercial words. Don't go away. Go going, go back to you, Ruth. Where would you like to place your next X, please? I would like to try the famous pair, please. All right, if you answer this question correctly, you'll have tic-tac-toe and $500. The category is famous pairs. Here's the question. Tom is the name of a famous cartoon cat who's always chasing a cartoon mouse. For tic-tac-toe, name the mouse. Jerry! Tic-tac-toe! Yeah. Yeah. Tom and Jerry! Very good, Ruth. So Ruth, our ex-player, not X-rated, our ex-player becomes our champion with $500 and of course the right to go on and play the tic-tac-toe bonus game. Congratulations, Ruth. Dan, sorry, no money, no big cigar, but a couple of nice prizes, who knows, maybe a box of cigars backstage. Thank you for playing our game. Good Thank luck you. to you. Okay, Ruth, come on and let's see if you have your winning. Again, congratulations to you. Now let's play our bonus game. You ready? Yes, I am. All right, let's see if you can add to your winnings in cash and prizes. On this board, we have nine numbers. Step up just a little closer, Ruth. I want you to get close to that board. <laughs> Behind these numbers are four X's, four O's, and one dragon. Now, the X's and the O's have been distributed on the board, so there's only one possible way for you to hit tic-tac-toe. You're going to be calling off numbers. For every X or O you find, I'm going to give you $150. Isn't that nice? Lovely. You can take that money and stop any time you like. However, when you call off a number, if you should find the dragon, which I hope you do not do, the game's over and you lose the cash. However, Ruth, if you find the one tic-tac-toe on the board, you will get not only the cash you've accumulated, but all of the prizes Jay Stewart's going to describe. Listen, Ruth, we'll start with our gift package of String of Pearls from Tiffany & Company, the stunning pearls choker. To complement your costume at any special evening affair, you'll be even more elegant wearing the choker of seven and a third millimeter matched pearls from Tiffany & Company. And most appropriately, you'll be taking this gift to Hong Kong. It's the Pearl of the Orient. It's a trip for two to this British crown colony located on the southeast coast of China. The words Hong Kong mean fragrant harbor. It's a week stay for two at the Lee Gardens Hotel. 900 rooms and suites, all with color television in the heart of Hong Kong. Superb cuisine at any of four restaurants with European and Asian menus. And Ruth, this oriental package is worth $3,450 in prizes. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, Ruth. All you have to do to win all of that and any cash you accumulate here is hit a tic-tac-toe. Let's get started. Pick a number. Let's start with four. Number four, the beginning point. What's behind number four? Is it an X? Is it an O? Or is it the dragon? It is the dragon. Wow. What a way to start, Ruth. Yeah, what are you going to do next time you don't do that? That's for sure. Well, maybe you'll win another game. You get to come back and do it again. Get a shot at that trip again. Okay, Who knows? I'll try. However, nobody can take what you want away. You have $500 in cash as our champion with the right to continue. Would you like to do that? I really would. Okay. We're going to reveal the board, first of all, before we begin a new game and show you where the tic-tac-toe was located had you found it. Unfortunately, you found the dragon first. Let's see. Where was tic-tac-toe located on the bonus board? There it is. Across the board, horizontally at the bottom. That's where you should have gone. I know. Next now, time. now you know. Now it's easy. Hey, good luck next time. Congratulations. You're still our champion, and let's play a new game. <laughs> Ruth, you've got five hundred dollars now, and we need a new player. So, Jay Stewart, who's going to play against her next? Our next challenger was born in Dardanelle, Arkansas. He's an emergency room nurse who has worked as a dancer and bartender. Meet Joe Price. <laughs> Welcome to the Tic Tac Doe Show. Thank you. Boy, bartending must have been tame compared to emergency work. Huh? Well, emergency room is a little bit hectic, but you get a feeling of satisfaction out of helping people. 
I think that's kind of nice. And I'll go along with that, 100%. You're welcome to the new Kit Kat Show. I wish you luck. We'll start a brand new game right after we take this break. We'll be right back. like to be a contestant on Tic-Tac-Toe or join us here in the studio audience right through us at Tic-Tac-Toe Post Office Box 950 Los Angeles, California 90048 Ruth Breed and Joe Price in a new game of the new Tic-Tac-Toe. Let's take a look at the categories you'll be playing with in this game. We have Beatlemania, Animal World, Odd Facts, English Literature, Israel, Mixed Words, Oscar winners, chemistry, and fashion. Now let's move those categories around on the board, and Ruth will begin in a moment asking you to place your first X. Categories change positions, and there they are, all set and ready for you, Ruth. Which one would you like to pick first? I'd like to try my first X in that center box of Oscar winners. Okay, she wants to go to the center box. It's a little harder, as you know, but it's worth $200 to the pot. Ruth, important question. By the way, if you need a little extra time for your answer, I'll give it to you. Only four men in the history of the Oscars have been nominated as Best Actor and Best Screenwriter for the same film. I want you to name two. And here's some extra time. Ruth, four men in the history of the Oscars have been nominated as Best Actor and Best Screenwriter for the same film. Name two for that center box. I think one might be Woody Allen. That's right. One more. The only other one that comes to mind is Charlie Chaplin. That's right. You got the center box. That was a guess. If that was a guess, that was a mighty educated guess. By the way, the two others were Orson Welles and Sylvester Stallone just last year. So you got an X, $200 goes in the pot. Joe, where would you like to place your first O, please? I'll try the upper left-hand corner, Israel. Israel. Well, it is. And here's your question on Israel. Joe, listen very carefully. In its 30 years of existence, Israel has found it necessary to invade a number of Arab countries. Which one of these countries has not, not been invaded by Israel? Egypt, Saudi Arabia, or Syria? Saudi Arabia. You are right. Put it over there. $300 in the pot. Let's move the categories around now. One O on the board, one X on the board, and that's center box. Fashion, odd facts, and English lit. Those are jump in. Ruth, back to you for your next X. Where would you like it to go, please? I'd like to see what mixed words on the middle left look like. Okay, then you just will. Listen carefully. Take a look, Ruth, at this mixed up word. Now unscramble the letters and give me the name of something you like to nibble on. Banana. You got it. There. We have $400 in the pot, and Joe, we turn back to you. Where would you like your second O to go? Got to go to Mill uh, Wright's block. I'm Odd sorry. facts. Odd facts. All right, you're going for a block. Joe, if you answer this question correctly, you'll have a successful block. Ruth, if you answer it correctly, you'll have tic-tac-toe and $500. Listen carefully. Put your hands on the buzzer. Here is the question. Tell me the most commonly used letter in the English... <laughs> You buzz first. What's your answer? E. You got it for Tic Tac Go. I didn't even get to give you a choice. I was going to give her a choice. You didn't take much time for that. I was you afraid up $500 to think. in the process. What would you say? Mr. I was afraid to think. Hey, you won $1,000 so far in cash with a chance to go back to the bonus game and perhaps win that trip to Hong Kong. Joe? Nothing for you. A couple of nice prizes backstage. Thank you for playing the new Tic-Tac-Doe. Nice meeting you. Go fight. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Ruth, so far you have defeated two opponents on the new Tic-Tac-Doe. Defeat five opponents and win a beautiful prize. Jay, tell us about it. It's a brand new car. The all-new 1978 Chevy Chevette four-door hatchback. The new rear doors make it easy to get into the back seat. Has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car. And it's by Chevy Chevette. All you got to do is beat five. Huh? You're partway there. You have a chance now to win that trip to Hong Kong, the pearl necklace, and that... Well, it all comes out to $3,450 in prizes. Plus, you can add some cash to your winnings. Come on over here. That's right. 
I said, let's do it again. She said, not the same way. That's that's for sure. Because the first call, you hit the dragon a while ago. You know how we play, right? I think so. You know what you're supposed to do? Supposed to get tic-tac-toe and no dragon. That's right. How is she doing so far? All righty, Ruth. Pick a number, please. Number four. You wouldn't do it again. All right. She's going to go back to number four. It was the wrong one a while ago. What is behind number four? The X, the O, or the dragon? X for $150. Okay, Ruth, you got $150 now. You know how it works. You can take the money and stop, or you can continue looking for the one tic-tac-toe on the board. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to go. I think everybody's in total agreement. They yeah. say go on. Pick another number. I'd like to try the center five. All right, she's going to move to the center, number five. Let's take a look behind number five, and what do we find, Ruth? An O for another $150. So far, so good. You got three hundred dollars now. Do you have anybody in the audience with you? Today? Yes, I think five people: my husband and two children and a couple of friends. Well, you got a whole fan club. Where are you? Where's the group? Her group. There they are. What do you think she ought to do? Should she stop and take the three bills or keep going? Husband says keep going. I go. I do what he says. Okay, pick another number. Okay, I would like number six. Number six it is. All righty, let's take a look behind number six. Do we find an X, O, or you know what? Oh, you're still alive. $450. Ruth, as the total continues to grow, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop or go? Go. Going to go. All right, step right up here now so we can all take a good look at you as you make your selection. What number is it going to be? Uh, two. Number two, little deuce up the top. What's behind number two? Let's take a look, Ruth. Cross your fingers and we look at an X. There it is, an X. $600, Ruth. Six hundred big bucks. Six hundred. Um, my family says go. They want you to go. What do you want to do, though? I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet. No, I want to go and I want to try. Gee, I messed up pretty badly there. Number seven. All right, number seven. Let's take a look and see what's behind number seven, Ruth. I got my fingers crossed. What do we see? It's an X. So far, so good. Okay, Ruth is studying the board. She's got $750. They say go. What do you want to do? I want number one. All right, if there is an X behind number one, you'll have $900 in cash, $3,450 in prizes for a total of $4,350 in this game. What's behind number one? Is it an O? Is it an X for $4,350? Or is it the dragon? Kick back! saying three's the charm with you two was the charm I guess so. you missed the first time but you got it this time and you picked up a lot of cash and a beautiful and you said you mean i'm going to go to china I yes you are really my husband's always wanted to go there can he get some time off i hope so i hope china. his boss will let him he's his boss let's take a look at the board where was the dragon located on the board you think it was behind number nine she said it was behind number nine and she guessed right you stayed away from it all right here at the board in this game you won $4,350. Added to your prior winnings, you have a grand total now, Ruth, of $5,350 in cash and prizes. We'll be right back right after we take this break. Ruth, in looking over your card, 26 years married, three children, 21, 18, 16, and you have a husband. Who gives you the most problems? Oh, you've got to know the answer to that. The uh -huh. oldest baby, the husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure he's going to claim you after you... However, listen, you're going to take him to China. Everything's got to work That's out right, right? right? It's got to be nice. He's right. not going to kick you out. Route 5350. Hey, congratulations Thank again as much. our champion on the new tic-tac-toe with the right to play another game. Now let's meet another player. Jay, who do we have next, please? We're coming up now is a lady from Cambridge, Massachusetts, a law student at Harvard University who worked as a teacher's assistant. This is Emily Bressler. Hi, Emily. Hi. What are your, what are your hobbies? Oh, I like to play sports, mostly. What, what sort of sports? There are a lot of different kinds of sports. Anything physical. <laughs> 
just let that one lay there. <laughs> a law student at Harvard University. Yes. What year? I just finished up my first year. It's kind of difficult, isn't it? The first year. <laughs> Where are you going to practice when you, when you uh, hang out the shingle? Who knows? I still have two years to decide. Well, I'd say that wherever you end up, that city's going to be very, very lucky because you're awfully cute, Emily. I like you a lot. But I like Ruth, too. No partiality here. We'll start a brand new game on the next show. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, too. It's all the time we have left. Do join us again for our next edition of the new Tic Tac Show. Until then, I'm Whit Martindale wishing you all whatever you wish yourself. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Berry and Dan Enright production. The Bunny contestants will receive eight tickets to Irwin Allen's new action adventure tour of the Swarm with an all-star cast including Michael Caine, Catherine Ross, and Henry Fonda from Warner Brothers Rated PG. And Billy the Kid fashion coordinates for boys of all ages from toddlers to teens. Billy the Kid boys wear available in all leading stores. Plus from Cody, a gift collection of Masumi fragrances. Masumi, the essence of inner beauty by Cody. Also, Cool Ray fashionable sunglasses that went admiring stairs while protecting from annoying glare. 86 eye-catching styles. See what you're missing with Cool Ray polarized sunglasses. Right next over most of these CBS stations.